Welcome back to Crochet Creations and Addictions number 52. Boy, time is flying. Grab a cup and join me. Today I have some Dunkin' Donuts uh, cinnamon bun. And I uh, did actually add hazelnut to it. <laughs> it's really good though. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. Today I have a swap with uh, that I did with uh, Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. I have her bag that she sent me and it's here and I don't have any other smile mail today so we're going to save Sandy's bag till last and we're going to go ahead and take a look at my hats, hats and more hats for the month of April. I don't have either one of them done but last video I asked what you thought about using the the dark teal color um, with this variegated in the knit one. Now the knit one is done in Ross's starting grid. So I did not do the regular vanilla Ross. I did a, the starting grid one this time. So I did take that dark teal and after I did the the cuff or the brim with this variegated basic stitch is the uh, yarn that I've been spotlighting for April. It is a Lion Brand Regular Medium 4. It's really soft, really nice yarn. It has 153 yards in the variegated and that color is South Wind. And then in the solid, it has 185 yards, and this color is steel blue. So I went ahead and started working up the steel blue. And this is going to be really different. <laughs> Look how it pooled. And then the, the rest of the hat will be steel blue. And it will be in the starting grid, so there's the pattern. I like it, but you know, I got to try something different and, and I did definitely come up with something different on this one. And then the crochet one this time is going to be very similar. It's going to be the BOD uh, number 536 tutorial. And that's a bag of day pattern. <clears throat> and this time, now I always do this pattern different than she does. I start out with the same amount of stitches that she does. And then I work up the hat, the 19 rows. And then after that, I change what I do. Um, because I, I prefer to do the finishing edges the way that I do them. So I will go over that when I get to that point. But what I did was the body of the hat this time is going to be in the in the uh, the cream colorway. Now I was going to go ahead and say cream on my own, but <laughs> I wanted to read what color it was, and it's cream. 219 yards in this one. I'm not sure if that's the same amount as the steel blue, but I'm using a J hook and. There's the beginning of the hat, and I will be trimming it with the variegated. So the bottom brim of the hat will be in the variegated colorway, and it'll be similar to the uh, knit one. So I'm almost, well, not quite halfway with either one of them, but I... I, I should be done by April, the end of April, like I normally am. <laughs> Not always sure on that, but I try. So those two are going along well. And I also worked on my Premier Bloom blanket. I'm doing this in the Which Way Filet. And that is a tutorial by Craig at Fiber Spider. And we were talking about how this was going to work up with the color and how the flower uh, pattern was going to show up. And as you can see, 
there is a side that is quite white and in the cream colorway and a little bit of green there but not a lot of pinks there so it's not going to work out to go all the way around but it's still beautiful but i'll tell you what i have not found a blank uh a yarn that's as soft as this that often this is gorgeous gorgeous soft any baby would love to put their head down on one of these premier bloom now what is it made of the premier bloom is actually Now you get 656 yards of 100% acrylic, which is really amazing that it's that soft. And this colorway is Baby's Breath. That's the only one I've ever bought. I need to buy some more of this just to make some more blankets with it. Even though it doesn't like make me happy that the stripes, you know, are going to look you know different places but it's still so so soft it's worth it <clears throat> what else well i got my mary maxim book today and this magazine comes i don't know once a month possibly and there's a bunch of stuff in it i was looking over They've got their Christmas stuff out already and their kits. They got lots and lots of kits in here. They are very reasonable when you think about the fact that they all have like the enough yarn to make everything, enough plastic canvas, enough beads, that kind of thing. You, If you were to go and buy all those pieces, you might find that the prices in here are pretty good. Now, why did I want to choose to talk about it today? Because on the front of the book, it says, and I don't remember if this is an every year thing or not, but on the front of the book, it says the 2021 Knit and Crochet Contest. What is that? So I went to page 10 and I read about it and it says, the 2021 Knit and Crochet Design Contest. Submit your original afghan, throw, or accessory designs, and you could win grand prize of $1,500 and $500 for first place and $250 for second place. So you can uh, uh, submit a crochet afghan, a hand knit afghan, a baby afghan knit or crochet, accessories knit or crochet, and then it's the entry form is on the website, marymaxim.com website. So if you guys want to enter into that, you need to send in the completed form by May 21st. 1500 bucks is to the winner plus first and second prize. That's worth it. If anybody has a blanket or um, baby afghan or something, they want to submit to that prize contest that crochet contest or knit contest that's hey doesn't cost anything to send it in so okay so what did we do last time last time we had a spin-off on the wheel that was cool and we also had some hobby yarns that I said you could have a choice on if your name was chosen. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, iPad or whatever this is, Kindle. Put the YouTube URL into the YouTube comment picker. I'm filtering out duplicate users and I'm going to get these comments. There's 58 comments. You had to tell me what color what yarns you wanted out of that uh, hobby, that the yarns that I showed. So if someone doesn't tell me that, then they probably don't want to enter. Uh, you do need to be 18 years of age. You need to be a subscriber to my channel. You need to comment below this video and only this video. Uh, sponsored by me and only me. No yarn companies, not YouTube, none of that. And um, I will pick the winner 
the next time I do an addictions video, which whenever that is. So we'll go ahead and we will pick a winner here. The winner here, you will see it first, and then you'll also get a spot in the brackets. So there seems to be a winner drawn. So let's see. Marabelle is hooked. What did she say? Congrats to the winner. I think the cream color would go nicely with knit hat. So she picked the cream, and I picked the steel blue. The universal XL glittery yarn is gorgeous. So Maribel is the winner of the glittery yarn. And I'm going to show that yarn one more time. <coughs> what she needs to do is <coughs> comment or send me an email or a message on Instant Messenger in a week, within a week. So this is the yarn that Maribel is won. It is universe, 98% <clears throat> acrylic, 2% polyester by Hobie. And look at that sparkle. She gets two of these. And these are lots of yardage too. Uh, 240 yards in each one. Those are yours, Maribel. And <coughs> we're going to pick a number out of the wheel for Maribel. <coughs> so I'm going to spin the wheel. I have got a tickle. So I had a tickle there, so I stopped the video for a second. So I rolled the video, I mean, I rolled the ball, <laughs> and one ball came out into the little cap, and it is number, oh, got to get bigger ones, number 26, and that is Maribel's number, so I'll write that on here. Green Sparkle Yarn and number 26. Okay. <clears throat> so, I did see somebody say something about, not sure if I've entered this too late or something of the sort. So, what I do is, when I get done pulling the winner for the addictions videos, I go back to the original, like addictions 51. I'm going to go back to that today. And at the very top, I'm going to put entries closed. So if you've ever in doubt whether or not I picked a winner on any of the videos, just look at the description box and at the top, it'll say entries closed. So you will know whether or not I picked one for that video or not. <clears throat> All right. Well, so, before I go ahead and open up the package from Sandy, I would like to put in here a little what do you prefer to win video. So, in this, in this addictions video, you will have your choice. Please do not use the words giveaway in the description, but you can leave any kind of comment that you want because I would like to see if you have a United States address and you would like to win this, you can also leave a comment. Your choice today is going to be a bulky five from Lion Brand called uh, Snowball or Softball. And this is a very cushiony bulky five. There are two of them. And this colorway is Pizzazz. It's a very bright pink and it is... 83 yards in a skein, 100% polyester. I got this down at the Christmas tree shop, and there are two of them. Your choice is of the two pink of those, or two of Yarn Be Dazzling. And they are also pink. This is pink and gray. Now, this yarn is a four medium, sold at Hobby Lobby. It is 98% acrylic and 2% metallic polyester. Has that sparkle in it. 
very, very pretty. Um, they call it Windstorm. Windstorm. And they have 249 yards in each, and you can have two of them. So your choice for this video and a chance to win a spot on the brackets is these two dark pink ones called softball or these two light pink ones called windstorm dazzling so those are your choices this video okay so let's go on and see what sandy sent me i have not opened this bag up yet that's the second time I had to turn off the video because they started coughing. <clears throat> Allergies are horrendous. Okay, so now we're back on, and I haven't opened the bag yet, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the bag. I'm not going to cut anything vital, I hope. No. And see what we can, what we got from Sandy. Now, if you watch the video where she opened up the box I sent her, you will see that she got uh, an octopus from me. And that was fun. So here's the card. Thank you, says Christy. All kinds of smiley stickers on there. Love it. Says thank you. <laughs> Aw. Hey, Chris. Wow, I cannot thank you enough for the fabulous and hysterical box of Yarny Goodness. Mine to you pales in comparison. No, no. I just wish I could bring you as much joy as you brought, bring me. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. We all love you, and Octa Romero is now a permanent part of our family. Hugs and squishes, Sandy, Octavia, and the gang. That's what I wanted is for him to be a part of her family, and he is. That's all. But I still get some goodies in the bag from Sandy, so let's see what she sent me. Oh boy, what is this? Malag Malaga? Malaga? I have never even heard of this. Oh my gosh. Well, this is different. So Malaga? World of Yarn, five skeins. They have a dark blue, a medium blue, a light blue, a gray, and a white. So they're all five, like in succession. I could make a baby blanket with this, with five colors. That would be cool. What a great idea. <clears throat> It says it is a four medium, 100% acrylic yarn. So, yeah, that would be great. I can make a baby blanket with the five colors. Perfect. Thanks, Sandy. All right, what else is in here? Let's see. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Scrubology Cotton. Rainbow Bridge. I have not even seen this. I, I don't even think I've ever had maybe one Scrubology, but I haven't used it yet. So I have to try it out. It's Yarn Bee, which is found in Hobby Lobby. 125 yards. Yeah. Four, four medium, 100% cotton. I gotta try this. Very pretty, all the colors of the rainbow. All right, let's see. There's something else in here. <laughs> Mary Maxim. Oh, what is this? Mary Maxim Simply Natural. Look at the fuchsia colorway. <laughs> Is it called fuchsia? It's called phlox. I used to work in the garden center and they had phlox this color. Yes, they did. Ground uh, ground cover phlox or even the taller ones. Some of them were this color. This is a three light. 
this has what in it? Made in Turkey, 52% cotton, 48% bamboo. Mmm. I have an idea for it already. A dress. I'm thinking a dress. I have some yarn that's very similar to this that I can mix it with. But yeah, a baby dress and maybe a sun hat with some white. Thank you, Sandy. I'll enjoy working with those. I really appreciate that swap with you. And uh, some of the girls were asking, when was the next swap going to be? In my Facebook group, I do uh, pair up girls in a swap occasionally. Uh, it usually is three or four times a year, and it usually is around a holiday. Now, the next one that we probably will do will be... Well, we did a summer swap once before, and I'm thinking that we want to either do a summer or a fall one. But uh, we just did it in April, so the next one probably won't be till June, July. I don't know, but we will do another one, and then we'll do a Christmas one, something like that. So if you're interested and you want to do that, watch for those. I always put a big post up. I pin it to the announcements tab. And I ask that you send me all your information. And I usually, um, it's $20 or less worth the yarn. And then, of course, you have to ship it to the person. And we ask that you get to know each other and... Um, then ship it by a certain day and uh, it usually turns out that you get someone within not that far from you um but we don't do international like if i do an international it would only be someone that's also out of the country that would bear up but, but it's not very often it's mostly everybody that has been doing it is in the united states so that's been really fun so let's see what's going on this week well this week hook and stitch live are getting ready to do their next uh live and that's kim and i kim from the crafty nomad and i get together on saturday once a month and our show this week will be this saturday and that will be 9 a.m pacific noon 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what we do is we bring the community together and we ask that if you would like to come on the show and show us things that you're working on or show us things that you have finished or show us something that is an heirloom that your grandmother made. It doesn't matter how it was made. It can be any kind of craft. We'd like you to come on the show and talk about it. Now, if you're afraid of the camera, you can always angle the camera down to the item and not show your face but it's just us and yes we know that is a public video but everybody seems to get relaxed and they like it and they do it anyway and every now and again Kim and I give away something so why not come on the show and or if you don't want to come on the show just watch us just sit back and crochet and enjoy the time. It's only once a month. So that's over on the Crafty Nomads channel. And um, we are announcing a new make-along. I did announce it last week, but we will be announcing and talking more about it on the show this Saturday. And it is the Crafty Shenanigans. It's uh, the quarter, the second quarter make-along. And you can make any craft you want this time so how fun is that yeah and of course the uh podcast that i do fibercast that i do with stephanie is also got to make along and we are doing baby items so once a month make a baby item and enter it in there and we have random drawings 
So if you get something started, put it in because next week Stephanie will be drawing a random. So look for that video next week too. So take care. If you like my content, please be sure and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like it and talk to you later. See ya. Thank you.